I have a Dash Express Mini Donut Maker. This says that it makes seven mini donuts. And there is a recipe guide included inside. Counter cooking. No kitchen, no problem. This is the side of the box. It says mini donuts for days. Mountains of minis makes seven mini donuts at a time. Great for entertaining birthdays, bake sales, and so much more. Family fun. Simply plug it in and add batter. Donuts cook quickly and decorating makes for a fun family project. Good looking cooking. Express mini donut makers non-stick coating ensures that donuts release easily and cleanup is a snap. Recipes included, mix and match delicious recipes for mini donuts, glazes, and toppings to get over 50 possible combinations. And this is what the other side of the box looks like. Don't those donuts look good? On this side of the box, they show donuts at the actual size. So these are mini donuts, and these are all different decorating ideas. So let's open up this box and check out what's inside. Great choice, get to know your product. Look inside, you'll find an envelope with everything you need to get started, including yummy recipes, instructions, and troubleshooting. Hello foodie, happy with your purchase. W warranty, join us on Instagram. And then here we go, here's the rest. Can I reach in and get, okay, here it is. This looks like the recipes. So this has a bigger book than the Dash Mini Griddles do. Has all your instructions. So that is what it looks like and there are some donuts. Using your Express Mini Donut Maker, before using it, remove all packaging materials. Check that it has no visible damage and no parts are missing. Wash and dry the appliance before first use. If appliance is preheated before use, donuts will cook faster. To preheat, plug the polarized power cord into a wall socket and allow red light to turn on. Once the indicator light is turned off, the Express Mini Donut Maker is fully heated. So place the appliance on a stable, flat, heat-resistant surface. Plug it in. Allow the appliance to fully preheat. Prepare batter using any of the included recipes or using a store-bought dough. A tip to get a more accurate pour for donuts, place the mixture into a pastry bag or a plastic bag with a small hole cut in the corner. Good to know. Squeeze the button on the cover lid handle and lift cover lid. So there's a non-stick coating. Add batter to donut mold plate until about three quarters full. Use the cover lid handle to lower the lid and press down. Allow donuts to cook following suggested times and recipe guide. Use a toothpick to remove donuts from the mold as they will be hot on both sides. Place donuts on a wire rack to cool. That looks like a really big toothpick, and I would say we probably want to use like a wooden skewer. Tips and tricks, do not overfill the donut molds. Uh, cooking spray, oil, and butter are not necessary to prevent sticking, uh, but using them may help the donuts release more easily. Plugging in the donut maker to preheat for a few minutes before adding batter speeds up the prep time. Follow the cleaning guidelines. An amount of time as small as 30 seconds can make a big difference in whether donuts are cooked to satisfaction or overcooked. So be sure to keep a timer handy. We recommend baking for one and a half minutes on one side, then flipping and baking for another four minutes on the other side. Oh, so we have to flip these. Use a toothpick to flip the donuts to avoid putting fingertips at risk. Then they say again, use a plastic bag to add batter to the molds. I'm sure you could also use like a squeeze bottle. The hottest part of the donut mold plate is directly in the center, so fill the center mold with batter last to reduce the risk of overcooking it. Good to know. 
get creative with frosting, try making the donuts ahead of time. They'll stay fresh in a sealed bag for up to two days. Then it tells you cleaning and maintenance, troubleshooting, and we have some donuts, and here's the recipe guide. Classic mini donuts. Apple cider mini donuts. Chocolate mini donuts. Banana bread mini donuts. Vegan mini donuts. Funfetti mini donuts. Thick vanilla glaze, thin vanilla glaze. Chocolate glaze, peanut butter glaze, maple glaze, lemon glaze, Nutella glaze, cinnamon sugar. And then they give you recommended combinations of donut glazing toppings. All right, let's take the appliance out. This appliance uses 760 watts, so if you're using a solar power station or a solar power bank uh, to power your appliances, uh, you need to have that information. So the 500 watt portable power station that I have would not work to power this because it's 760. Let's open it up. And that's what it looks like. We have seven little mini donut molds. Let me see what ingredients I have on hand and I'll be right back and we'll start making some donuts. When using a dash appliance for the first time, I like to plug it in and let it burn off any chemical residue from the nonstick coating. So that's what's going on here. Uh, it's just heating up for a while. I've decided that I am going to make some gluten-free almond flour donuts. So I have one cup of almond flour, three eggs, a quarter teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and two tablespoons of honey. I am going to mix all of these ingredients together in a large Pyrex mixing bowl because it has a spout, and I think it will be easier to just pour the batter into the donut maker. I put my eggs in the Pyrex bowl, and I am going to beat these. Now I'm going to add the vanilla extract and the honey. Now I'm going to add the almond flour. You want to stir it until there are no lumps left in it. I'm also going to add the baking soda. You can add some additional salt uh, if you like. This recipe is supposed to make about six mini donuts, so we'll see how this goes. Here's the dash donut maker. It's good and hot. Always be very, very careful when you lift the cover off. I am going to use the outer molds first. This is a really thick batter, so hopefully, We'll get it in the molds. It's pouring pretty nicely so far. All right. I don't know if some of these donuts are going to have holes inside of them or not.
Oh, it looks like it's going to make more than six donuts for sure. Okay, this might end up being a giant mess. We'll see. So these two look good. They have holes in them. The others don't. So let's close this. It's said to cook these for about a minute and a half and then flip them over. So we'll be back. Okay, it's been a minute and a half. So let's, let's open this up. Wow, look at that. These look great. Look how brown they are already. So I have a wooden skewer here. The question is, can I turn these over? Wow, they're really brown on the other side. They smell amazing. I don't think I even need to turn these over, to be honest with you. You can see where the excess batter um, just kind of filled out the sides. These are really golden brown. I'm gonna, this one kind of ripped so I'm gonna take that, put it aside, and actually taste it. Okay, I'm flipping both of those. Okay, we'll just cook it for like another minute. Meanwhile, here's the donut I just took out. Let's take a look at that. That looks good. That looks like it's done inside, and it was only like a minute and a half. I'm gonna taste it. It's really good. I just unplugged the donut maker because I don't want these to cook too much longer. This is nice and moist. Um, it is a little bit eggy because I used three eggs, but um, it's really good for gluten-free, all-natural treat. This is really good. So I'm going to take these out and put them on a plate. So, see what happened? See how these got a lot darker? So with this recipe, I definitely don't want to turn them over. These are a little bit too dark for my liking. I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll just put the batter in and only cook the batter for, I don't know, maybe like two minutes, then they should be done. I just plugged the donut maker back in. I'm gonna pour more batter into it and let's make some more donuts this time uh you know let's only cook them for about two minutes and let's not flip them over i probably overfilled these also I need to grab a spatula to get all of the batter out. You probably want to be really quick when filling this because these are actually starting to cook already as I'm wasting time putting batter in. And that one is probably going to be only a partial. Okay, let's close this and we'll be back in about two minutes. So this is the first round of donuts, and what happens is if you overfill the molds like I did, you see how uh, you can't see through, there's no like donut hole. I mean, there is, there's an indentation, but you can't see through it. This one has a partial donut hole, but that's okay because I think everyone understands what they are. All right, it's been a little bit more than two minutes now, so let's open that. These look good. They look good, they're nicely browned. Yeah, I'm gonna say these are done. Maybe if I put a little bit less batter in each one, um, they wouldn't get as dark. Again, always unplug your donut maker when you're done with it. And when you have donuts like this with uh, batter, 
around the edges. Just wait till they cool and the batter, um, you can easily take the batter off of the edges. You could just peel it off. Here's the little donut that we just took out. This is the second batch. It looks cooked inside to me. I'm going to taste this one. They're much better when you only cook them for about two minutes. I love the combination of the honey, the vanilla, and the almond. It is so good. And it's still uh, moist inside, which is really nice. And this one is not eggy at all. I think as long as you cook it for about two minutes, um, all the flavors really combine and the texture is better. How cute are these donuts? I have 11 mini donuts on this plate and I ate two. So this recipe makes about a dozen mini donuts. One of the donuts that I made was like too small. Um, so you could say 12 or 13 donuts. So to keep this healthy, instead of icing them, I'm just gonna drizzle, drizzle some honey on top. That looks so good. All natural, super healthy, just almonds, eggs, honey, baking soda, and vanilla extract with a little honey on top as an icing. I'm gonna enjoy this. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to this channel if you'd like me to post more videos like this one. Thanks so much for watching, have a great day, bye.